All right, it's David Boatwright with Fed from the Farm, and we're back with another Corner Post update here. So this week has been a full one. So we got a bunch of rain, which was awesome, and it gave us opportunity. We planted a lot of cover crops this past week. So we had a new um, drill specially designed to um, plant into existing sod. We've got a former row crop field that we've been um, basically rebuilding from the ground up. It was The soil was completely dead. It would barely grow anything. Um, and we have been regenerating it. And so we've been having the pasture chickens and turkeys out there on the field. And that's really helped. And this past week, um, we planted some rye there. So really excited. Probably do a follow-up video just to see how that's coming up and the progress we're making on that field and healing it. Um, that was really exciting. We were thrilled to have the rain. We got three inches here soaked in. We didn't have any runoff to speak of. Our soil held the water just like it should because we had um, good grass cover on it and a healthy soil and it allowed the water to percolate in just how it ought to. So other things that we were working on this week for an update, um, <clears throat> a little windy today. Um, we were working in cold storage. So we've been <laughs> where we keep all of our meat frozen uh, has needed a, a big overhaul. And so I've been spending one to two days a week for the better part of the last three months uh, trying to organize, uh, standardize, make it sensible in there, um, and just so we can uh, do a better job of efficiently getting things packed up and ready to go. So made a, a lot of headway this past week there. Uh, finally got labels on our bins of all things, so we know uh, what product is in each bin. This is pretty great. Um, last but not least, um, we actually moved our sheep. So they are, we're getting ready uh, for breeding season with the sheep, and so they are gonna be out um, putting the rams in uh, with them here in a matter of weeks. And right before that, we try to give them just like extra, extra good grass and also to bring them into a place strategically that we can winter them there. And so we moved them across the road, which is always fun. You check out that video. Uh, but in doing that, we're just moving everything, getting preparation for the winter. This time of year is um, key that we make certain strategic moves that we're ready for winter. So with the chickens, um, we've been slowly uh, moving them out. We took and processed our turkeys this week. Um, so they're all packaged up and ready to go for Thanksgiving. Uh, we only have one batch of chickens left on pasture, which we're really excited about also, uh, because that means it frees up uh, a lot of time. So time to spend a little more time with the family, time to uh, work on some projects, catch up on some things, uh, just slowing down the pace a little bit on the farm. I like to describe it like, uh, it's almost like a roller coaster. So starting in about March, things really start to go up, 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 up uh, in terms of busyness and workload on the farm and the days are long and you know we're working them. And uh, then, oh, it starts to level off um, somewhere around July typically. And then it just holds steady at the peak until about now. And we're just starting to come down the roller coaster and uh, things are, are lessening up a little bit. I can tell I'm, I'm consistently getting in a little sooner in the evenings um, for dinner and we've just got more time to throw behind projects instead of just uh, keeping everything going. So it's an exciting time of year. I enjoy the, the changes of the seasons on the farm. It's, it's fun to have everything going faster, faster, faster in the spring and all the babies being born on the farm, all the lambs and sometimes calves and all the chicks out on pasture. You know, that's great. Uh, but it's also nice when it starts to wind down a little bit and the animals move closer to home uh, where they're gonna be on winter pasture and for us just to have a little bit more time with the family. So that is the corner post update.